Democracy and Technology, which is a public interest group, an NGO that's focused uh, on digital rights in, uh, and civil liberties in the internet environment. Our, our core mission is to try to promote policies that keep the internet open, innovative, and free. And so from our inception back in the mid-90s when, when CDT was created, uh, the issue of intermediary liability was really at the core of CDT's mission. We have uh, always defended the, the, the principle that the reason that, the, uh, one of the main reasons that the internet has uh, developed into this uh, 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 massively useful and enjoyable tool for free expression and education and commerce, entrepreneurship, etc., is this principle of limitation of liability for uh, uh, internet intermediaries. It's, it's laid down as, <coughs> as was just explained so, uh, uh, so comprehensively uh, in the e-commerce directive in, in the US. Uh, 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 there is uh, provisions in the Communications Act and the DMCA that have very similar uh, uh, effect and, uh, uh, and impact. So as we have commented and participated in these debates over the, over the years, we have basically uh, uh, we have basically sought to defend the status quo um, against the many types of, of onslaughts uh, uh, that have been uh, occurring. Um, I, I think go going back from um, uh, the, the last few years, uh, there has been consultations by the Commission on uh, on copyright uh, policy on substance substantive copyright and on the enforcement directive back in 2013 the commission was con was uh, consulting on uh, notice and action procedures um, uh, we have a new consultation on enforcement uh, and uh, and our colleague just just mentioned the DSM strategy the, the copyright documents that that hint at um, uh, uh, at undermining or limiting the, the, the current uh, regime that we have. I would also just mention um, what we've talked about uh, and what we're talking about today is mainly illegal content in the category of, of uh, copyright infringement, but, but I think in, in the past few years what we've seen is uh, a, a huge amount of public debate uh, on uh, radicalization content, extremist content, uh, uh, terrorism, uh, enabling content, uh, various words and categories are used to describe this. Uh, hate speech has been a, 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 a big concern for um, policymakers, and this has also contributed to uh, pushing, let's say, the the, uh, the the boundaries of the legal regime uh, that that uh, we just had described to us. Uh, I think the the reasons are all very understandable, um, but uh, we come back to the we come back to the fundamental point that without this uh, uh, liability limitation principle well protected uh, in law, uh, the internet uh, would not continue to function uh, as this permissive uh, and open space for free expression and and political debate and cultural diversity. Um, and, and so this is absolutely something that we want to uh, 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 safeguard as we move forward and that, and that this debate uh, goes forward. I think <clears throat> there probably isn't a whole lot more to say about the, 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 uh, the various legal uh, aspects of, uh, of the issue. Um, I think as we have thought about the way forward for uh, European policy in this area, we have thought about um, along the lines of uh, making uh, notice and action procedures uh, perhaps more fit for purpose, perhaps perhaps more uh, consistent across uh, member states. Uh, that would seem to be a, a sensible way forward um, to uh, accommodate concerns from, uh, from right holders that uh, some processes don't uh, 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 work well enough in terms of addressing uh, 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 IP infringement, 
but it would also uh, perhaps uh, help uh, uh, ensure that the liability limitation concept is not uh, it's, is not uh, undermined uh, uh, gradually. So, um, so if we could have um, uh, some kind of guidance uh, uh, that would ensure uh, that there are very high standards for making notices, that there should be proper um, proper processes in place, there should be transparency in terms of of how uh, notices are, are, are handled. Um, and that there should be uh, redress and, and appeals uh, possibilities. Those types of principles could be extremely useful to, to, uh, to uh, lay down in, in policy and would uh, presumably help uh, to eliminate some of, the, the, some of these gray areas uh, that, that, um, that we have talked about.